Hello everybody, welcome back to another episode here on our survival world. What we are doing today is going to start a brand new project far away from where this world is. And in fact, let me let me just quickly start off by saying a lot has happened. <laughs> a stupid amount of stuff has happened in between the last episode and this episode. I recorded the last episode pretty much the same time last night, and we had a stream in between the last episode and this episode. And I don't think I've ever had a stream quite as productive as that. Like, it was crazy. Super, super crazy. We've got ourselves the Silk Touch pick that I was talking about. Look at that. Efficiency 4, I'm breaking 3, Silk Touch pick. Finally! I didn't want to go another episode with it, and we managed to get it. So I was so, so, so excited to get that. Also, we did do a lot of enchanting. So we've got picks. Picks for days. Look at that. All these picks. Also, less deaths for me. Look at that. Feather Fallen. Looking pretty good, I think. So let me get rid of that there. Now, as I say, a lot of stuff has happened, and... I know you guys are going to be like, wow, this is crazy. Why have we taken such a big step? And you know what? I'll explain it to you, but just just enjoy what it's looking like because it's looking fantastic. I think it's looking fa pretty fantastic. So you can see a dock. You can see that we've got trees. We've got a new building. We've got a whole bunch of stuff. So what I've done, let's, let's take a quick little tour. So I've added in this dock here. This is probably my least favorite part of what I've done, and I feel like I can probably improve it quite a bit. I've tried to make it a little bit more ratty around the places I kind of broke in there broken there, and a step down this way, just to make it not one long, boring kind of dock. So, if you guys have any, any improvements for these things, please let me know. So, this is our dock here, and as I say, we had a 9, a, a nine hour and 15 minute stream, guys. So, a lot of stuff happened, and uh, it was very, very, very efficient stream. I've never actually done that much in a stream. So, we've got a few more trees, a few new trees, and I think I'm starting to get this whole pine tree thing going down pretty damn well. So I've added that in, I've added all this all this grass and the texture in. I think we still can do a few more improvements on it. But I think it's it's definitely, definitely on its way to being close to finish this village. And by the way, this village we have decided to name the Village Cotter. And I know I've messed that up and people on my stream are going to kill me. Peanut is going to kill me. But uh, this village we've named after a pine cone because of course this is a, a pine forest that we've tried to build here. And... What we, what we have named it is after a pine cone in Swedish, if everything is correct. Unless I'm, unless they're taking, making a fool out of me. But I'm pretty sure that uh, we, can, we can trust this. So <laughs> that is the new name for the village. So we've got a name to start off with. And what else have we done in this, in this whole thing? I'll show you because we've done a lot more stuff. And by the way, these houses are not actually finished yet. You can see on the inside, they're just here to fill in the space, fill in this whole area. So, what else I have done is I've gone back here where the spawner is, and let me go up that way. And by the way, I've, I've put a little thing up to the well as well, looking pretty good, I think. So, going up here to the spawner, it's, uh, I always seem to miss it, but not anymore, because of course, I've got a giant thing coming out of the ground here. And this, I'm actually going to be covering in with either a tree around here, like a large tree, which I think could be very, very interesting. Or, a bit of a mountain over this way, so we won't see this, so ignore how ugly this is. It's only temporary. We will fix it. So this this is basically what I've done. I've taken this spawner here. I've uh, made a normal old spawner thing, pushed these things in here. And let me quickly... How about we change it over with these two here? One like there and one like there. So basically what happens is the zombies get pushed there, get pulled up this way, get dropped over here. And the cool thing is the way that we get rid of the baby zombies. I'll quickly show you if ever anyone wants to... Wants to see what it's like. So go down here. Bam. Bam. Oh, no. Okay, cool. I thought I was going to get stuck on those vines. And should be pretty quick. Pretty, pretty quick. Yeah. Perfect. All right. So what I've done is I've used a bit of lava. Uh, can I go through here? Is this... Wait, wait. There we go. Here we go. So you can see here's a zombie. It's getting pushed up here. And it's stuck. Okay, why is it stuck? That's actually interesting. Alright, so the next one should come past and push it up. So the next zombie should, if if we were in spawner range, come here, push the zombie up, and it'll um it'll end up going up the, the thing. So there we go. Like that. <laughs> like that. But then the way we get rid of the baby zombies is we've got some lava down here. So the big zombies get pushed up, the baby zombies don't get pulled out, and they just get pushed into this lava, and we don't see them ever again. So that that's how we deal with that problem there. Now, today we may as well get started on this episode. I hope you guys have enjoyed all this stuff that uh, we've we've caught up on. As I say, I've been absolutely loving the streams, loving the videos, loving this world. This world has been such a fun world. I've, I've spent so, so much time in it. And it's only a few days. In fact, at the time of me recording this, for those of you guys 
who might need some perspective on how old this world is. We've got so much done in this world. It's not even, I think actually at the time I'm recording this, it's hit its sixth day since we started it. So six days in the world, absolutely insane. Absolutely insane. And uh, I, I, as I say, I can't thank you guys enough for the amazing support that we've had. So what else we did in the stream is we actually went to explore the lake, which is down that way. And I thought it was actually a bit closer than it is. It's probably about 400, 500 blocks away. So we got a, quite a way to go down this river to be able to get to the lake. And that will be a very, very long project. And we're going to be doing many things across the whole uh, whole lake, just adding a few different interesting bits and pieces, maybe a path, maybe some stuff along the river. Just adding more and more things, slowly but surely, and eventually we should end up with a very, very, very cool place there. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to go ahead and get started with some of the stuff that we're going to be doing today. All right, so we're beginning today's adventure here with a challenge that I got from our stream. So what I was told, and I actually forgot to do this, is I was challenged to uh, make myself a palm tree in the stream. And I, I think I've just realized how these things work. I'm pretty sure, let me just try to push this guy over. There we go. I'm pretty sure that I can get him on my shoulder if I walk through it. No. Fly in the air. Fly in the air. There we go. Yeah, I walked through it. Okay. I think that's the way it is. I don't know if maybe I'm just getting close enough for it to actually do that. But how do I get this thing to come with me? It just doesn't want to come with me. Interesting. All right. So I might be, I'm, I'm probably going to have to take him through the nether. I don't, know, I don't know how else I'm going to do it. So what I've done is I've gone ahead and gathered up a little bit of stuff. A little bit of oak leaves, a little bit of jungle leaves. And what we are doing is we are going to be building a palm tree. I was challenged to do a palm tree and you know what? If if I didn't do it, I would have stepped down from the challenge. But one thing I've realized, and one thing I want to do, is I want to do it on this little island here. Just a small thing, not a big, this isn't a massive project, but I think it'll be a fun little thing to do. Uh, I just realized that this is going to take a little bit more sand than I expected. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to chop this tree down, and then we're going to go ahead and go back to the base and grab sand. But I wanted to quickly try something, because I was told this, and I, I tested it out, and I thought this was really, really cool. So I've been using, whenever I'm dying a bed, I've been using three dyes to dye the bed. So I've been getting the white wool, I've been dyeing each one of those white wools, and then I'm doing the bed. But apparently, you can just do that, and then you get a bed like that. So, save on your dyes, and you can get a bed like that. Very, very cool thing. I'm glad I found that out. I'm glad someone told me that, because that is super, super useful. Did the parrot manage to... Nah, it didn't manage to follow us over here. If, any, if anyone knows how to do that, how to actually bring a parrot over with a boat, I would love to hear that. Uh, if not, I think I'm just gonna... Oh, here we go, here we go, here it is. Come on my shoulder, maybe it, was, it must have been on my shoulder this whole time. There we go. Good. All right, so I'm going to have to work out how to get this parrot back to the base. I really want it to the base. By the way, that, that creeper noise is really, really, really uh, scary because it actually sounds like a proper creeper, whereas the rest of them all sound like kind of a, a baby mob. This one sounds like a real deal mob, and it's actually pretty scary. <laughs> so let's let's go ahead, try going back to the base. Is it on my shoulder? Will it ever perch itself on my shoulder like this? I don't think so. All right, so I'll be back. So I've added a little bit of shape to this uh, mound of, of dirt here, well, the <laughs> mound of sand, and I thought I'd add a few rocks and stuff in just to make this look like a, a little island beach sort of thing. And by the way, we've got a guardian temple there, ocean monument, sorry, right over there. So that's another one. We've actually got so many of them uh, going down that way. But I know someone's going to mention it, and yes, I did see it. I did see it, and we will eventually go exploring one of these. Not today, though. So what I want to do is I want to get started on a palm tree that I said I was going to do. So this palm tree is something that I've messed around with in creative a while ago, but I feel like it's not going to be too hard to, to do for us. I feel like we, we should be able to pull this one off. So if I do, really, I fell right off straight away, straight away. So I want to just test this out. Let's go up here and there. Maybe that's there, there. Sure, let's give this one a little bit of a... A little bit of a twist. Let's go a bit this way. This parrot's actually get, gets in the way quite a bit. So let's try this out. Is that something that will work? Of course, this is something I'm just testing out. So, maybe. You know what? I actually don't think it doesn't works too badly. I think that, that shape is not actually a bad shape. We could work with that. And then, I want to try another one out over here. So, going up here. And what I want to, what I, well, I know a lot of people are going to tell me to put sl sta slabs or stairs on top of these things. And I was thinking about how would I do the jungle one. And I'm not too sure what I would actually use. So if you guys think about anything, let me know. I, I don't know what I would actually want to use on this one. Let's check that out. Yeah, I think we can, I think we can make this work. We might have to change things over a bit. I was originally thinking of like a bit of a banana shape, like 
Uh, kind of like if I had taken this one up and gone out there and then back again. But I thought, you know what, that's a bit too, a bit too easy. A bit too easy. Let's try something a little bit different than, than what I'm comfortable in doing. So that I think we have done. Now, let's try out these leaves. And of course, I've got a few other, other goodies that I want to get in here. So first of all, we'll add some leaves around here. And I want to just make a big, like, canopy, I guess, for this thing. And the reason I'm using oak leaves is really because if you have a look at jungle leaves and oak leaves, they kind of merge in with each other. Let me just push F1 off. You can see there. Look at that. They kind of work in with each other. So you can actually add them in together and, and they look like they are a whole really super textured tree. Uh, this parrot is really getting on my nerves. Let's see if I can push it off here. Can I? I, I can't. Okay. Why is, it, why is it so good at holding on? Why can't I ever hold on to things like that? There we go. There we go. I fall off everything as easily as I can, and the parrot, I can't even push off things. So, let me do this. Just finish up that, 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 and I think maybe one more out will do it. Like that. And there we go. So, this is pretty much how I like to do my trees, by the way, guys. Ah, uh, no, I don't have any, don't have any shears on me. Uh, but this is how I like to do them. I like to put the tree, uh, the, like, whole top piece up there with, like, a nice bit of an easy thing. This is what I do with my oak trees as well. Make... Make a design, a very easy design, kind of like a, a little mini, you can call it a circle. And then I'll start working my way out of that. And I don't know whether or not this is actually a good idea for this tree, but we're about to find out. Actually, I can use this. I can use my Silk Touch pickaxe to help us out with these. Um, I don't know. I don't feel like this is actually the right angle. Let's, let's just get rid of that one there. Is that a good angle? I don't know. I feel like I might have made this a bit too large, but you know what? That's the thing. It's trial and error, trial and error. Let's just see how we do it. Now, a lot of people have actually asked me, by the way, uh, for building tutorials on the buildings that we have made in this series. And you know what? That is absolutely, absolutely a good idea. So in the next few days or in the next uh, week, we well, next week, we will be having a few tutorials on some builds that we've done in this world. So if you guys want to follow along, if you guys just want to build, if you guys want to see how I built the things, Go ahead, have a look at these videos that should be coming out. Of course, they'll be a lot more simple, a lot more detailed than what we've currently done. And this is really not turning out anything like I thought it would. Not at all. <laughs> uh, okay, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to try this out. I'm going to try it out on this tree, actually. I'm going to maybe just step back. I was going to say, let's go, but let's just give us one more go. We'll go around here. We'll go out. where I've, I think I went out two or three last time. Is that two from there? Yeah, I think it's about three from the, the middle there. We're only going to go out two blocks here. There. And there. Okay, let's give us a go. So, a nice little bit of a thing like this. Go out like that. Maybe we'll, maybe we'll make the top a bit like that. I haven't used any oak, so we might just use a bit of oak every now and then. And now, let's give us a try. If we go out here. And there, maybe something like that. Yeah, that'll work. That'll work. I think that'll be all right. Maybe we'll, we could add a little bit more to it, but I think this is a better shape than what we had before. There. There, actually, this hanging down a little bit low is actually probably even better. That's actually, that is really, really good. That's a good idea. Let's, let's go ahead and do a few more. There. Okay. Simple. Very simple. Why am I doing that? That's, we, and I broke it with the wrong thing. There we go. That's, that's very, very easy. Very simple tree to make. But I've never made one before, and now I've learned. Now I've learned. In fact, these are two trees learned in the same day. I've also learned how to do my pine trees a little bit better as well. So definitely, definitely still learning and improving. So that's always a good, good sign. So let's just get that on there, that on there, there. And much better. Maybe the, the inner piece might need a little bit of work, but that's all right. We can work on that. But I think the leaves were the real thing that was a bit of an issue. And I think we should be able to... Get that to work, and we've only got one more left here. There we go, and here. Perfect. All right, let's have a look at the shape. Shape's looking good. Let's sleep. Let's sleep very, very quickly. I don't want to cut. I just want to go and finish this tree, and then we can get going on with the next tree. So if we do that, that is looking fantastic. I think I just need to fix up this one branch over here, well, one set of leaves over there, and we there's something going on here. There, that's that's going on there. Perfect. All right, so maybe I'll just add in a few here, here and there. Maybe one in, one in there. No, up there. 
Okay, perfect, perfect, perfect. All right, so before I carry on with this, I want to also just add a little bit more to this island. I think that we need, we've already got something, you know what I mean? We've already got this island set up here, but I want to do something to just make it a little bit more interesting for when we come back. And of course, I've just created another crafting table because who needs who needs two crafting tables? Of course we do. And that's why I've actually got a bit of, a bit of the tr buried treasure that we're about to do. So I'm going to bury some treasure on this place. We've got to bury one whole stack of gold, one whole stack of diamonds, and one day we may have to dig these up. So this is this is the plan, all right? We're going to make some some sort of a marking, maybe somewhere over here. Right over here where this one block is, we're going to go dig down one, two, put one of these here, bury our treasure, and just add a little bit of something to this island, you know what I mean? Just a little bit of something that we know is here, and uh, maybe one day when you guys download this world, you can explore that yourselves. So the, oh wait, I forgot, the last thing that I want to do on this island is add in some coconuts. There we go, perfect. So we, we're going to finish this off here as well. There we go, some coconuts. I'm pretty sure I can actually bone meal these big. So let's let's try this out. Yep, yep, and I know these are actually cocoa beans, but I feel like, I feel like they're coconutty enough. Look at that, that's looking pretty good. Maybe I need to do a little bit more on the, br like, I definitely need to find a block to make this thing look diagonal. Maybe I'll try some spruce or something. That might be a good, a near enough color to this just to make it work a little bit more because that le seems a bit too blocky for me. But I think that works very, very well, guys. So now we're going to be starting our next project. And this one is slightly outside of town. I think we might just be able to get a glimpse of where we are. There is our library there and our town is just over there. Maybe we can zoom in. You can see the rocks. You can see the crops. That is where we are. So if you guys want to get a little bit of a whereabouts, probably about 50 blocks or 30 blocks or whatever, and uh, about, yeah, about 30 blocks there, 50 blocks there. That's that's how far we are away. And what we are building right now are some horse stables, and I'm trying something completely different, which I'm not very comfortable doing, but this is how I'm going to plan on getting better at building. There's no other way, you know what I mean? Try things that I'm not not comfortable with, and uh, test them out. This is a, So this is a plan I've got here, and basically what I'm doing is I'm planning out these horse stables to be far away, obviously, and I'm planning out how I want to build them, and I'm trying something a little bit different, where normally... I would, for instance, build a wall, like put a block there, put a block here, not there, there, so that they are in the line, and then I'll put another type of block in the back there, and that's, that's like the depth in the wall, that's got a lot of stuff to it. But today what I'm trying is I'm trying to do this wall on three different layers, so I've got the, um, the outer bits, the inner bits, and, uh, and we're gonna see how this works. Maybe, maybe planning it out like this from the beginning will be very, very useful. So I'm testing this out, and in fact, I've just thought, you know, what kind of, could be kind of cool is doing it this way. Here, like this. Yeah, that's what we need to do. That's what we need to do. So I've placed in these extra blocks here and like around here. Those aren't going to be those. That That's not a problem. Do not worry. Those aren't actually going to be those. But that's just uh, just something that I thought I'd, I'd show you guys what I, what's happening here. And now as I'm building this, I'm really realizing that this is actually going to be a fairly large build. So I'm going to have to come up with some plans for the roof. I, I think we don't want the roof to be ridiculously large. We also don't want it to be ridiculously small either. So I think what my plan is, at least now, this is, and I mean, this is just if you guys are interested in how I build things. I, uh, I think what my plan is now, looking at how tall this is, because obviously we don't want to have a ridiculously big structure. I want to maybe put a pitch roof on here, a pitch roof on here, and then in the middle, its own pitch roof that goes slightly higher. That way we don't have an insanely huge roof, and we can also get it to look like it's built as part of this little town here. That's the plan, at least. I mean, who knows how it's going to turn out. But this is the time, I guess, now when I go ahead and build up a bunch of this stuff. And in fact, this is all just planning stuff. We might not even need this stuff. Uh, but I'm, as I say, this is the time where I'm going to go step away. I'm going to go crazy into my building zone. And I'm going to see if we can build some stables here. We've got four spots. I was actually planning on doing another one, but that'll be just way too big. It really got big very, very quickly, I must admit. <laughs> so, yeah, we'll probably be able to get an upstairs as well to this place, which is kind of cool. It's going to be... Reminiscent of a barn, I imagine. Alright, big improvements now, and let me tell you, this is far from my favorite build on this world so far, so I think we're gonna have to do quite a bit of work to get this thing to work out. I'll quickly take a step back just so you can take it in. I've gone ahead for like a pitched, slight, slightly pitched roof there, you know what I mean? And then we've got this one going on here. I don't know how I, how I think about that, it's what I think about that at least. So, please let me know, please, please, please let me know. I'll also show you what's going on inside. I just want to quickly go and get these pieces while I'm up here. Let's put in one of those, 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 and those. Wonderful. That will start adding on a little bit of detail. Maybe adding in a little bit of the detail will help quite a bit. So I've gone ahead and done the floors. You can see there, path block and a bit of dirt, a bit of, what is that, coarse dirt, just all over the place. And I've actually decided to leave a lot of these ferns in. I've even brought some ferns with me. 
uh, just to put in around here because I think they'll be really, really cool to put in the pens. What I'm thinking of doing as well, by the way, is putting in some llamas in the pens because, of course, why the hell not? Why the hell not? We've got ourselves horses. Why don't we put some llamas? Can we do one over there? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Good. Good, good, good. I, um, I normally actually put these in the ground, but I feel like maybe this time we're going to put them above the ground. Just because, you know what, it might even, it might just be a little bit better in the end. So there we go. We have to still get some horses in here, but I think that is a good, good plan already. So outside here, this is what I actually have the, the main issue with. And I've, I've made a few of these because I thought maybe a bit of dark oak would fit in here quite nicely. I just want to see if this rounds off these a little bit. Yeah, it kind of, it kind of rounds them off a little bit. I actually want to try this out. So let me grab a block to jump up on. Like that there. Let's, let's give it a go. I mean, you know what? As I say, the worst thing is that it doesn't all turn out. But I think this will. I think this will turn out quite well. Just a bit too tall. There we go. Okay. Perfect, perfect. Uh, now, another thing is, of course, the, the lighting in here is a bit of an issue. So, what I'm going to do quickly is I'm just going to sleep the night away. Okay, night is gone. And we're going back to work. Back to detailing this front a little bit. Hopefully as much as we can. I think once we've got this added in now, that's just adding a little bit of... Actually, that is that is working. It's creating a little bit of an illusion to the depth in this piece. I like that. I like that a lot. So the next thing I want to do is add in some windows because I think that will also take away from the big flatness of this wall. If we do maybe one over there, one over here. And we could actually leave them open. Let's check. Let's check what it looks like open. Because originally I was thinking of putting in some of these. Yeah, I prefer them with these over here. Good, good, good. All right, so then we'll do it again on this one. There, 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 and there. Try it again. And one thing I'm probably going to change up, and I think it's it's just because it sticks out a bit too much, is the oak at the top here. I think it's just a little bit too light. So I was going to try some dark oak there, but I feel like that also might match too much. So I don't know. I don't know. We'll have to see. We'll have to see what happens. That's looking a lot better, but I, like my, my issue is, my, my true issue is, is that this is a small village, so having a big barn like this is not necessarily tying into this theme necessarily. So what I'm going to have to do is at least try and make this barn feel a bit smaller. And I think what I'm going to do with in like in terms of getting it to feel a bit smaller is putting some really large trees in here, really large pine trees, which will kind of on the your way from the from the village here when we eventually get the path in, it'll kind of make it seem like the the build's actually a lot smaller than what it actually is because. There's no way I could have done this, in, in this respect at least, making it any smaller than what it is. So, making it large was something that just had to happen. And I think maybe using a bit of the perspective, as I said, adding in some really big trees, adding in a few other little things like that, just little tricks to make it look a bit smaller. So, obviously, pretty much just making everything else around it big. I reckon that's going to help out a lot. So, let me fill up one of those, and let me fill up another one in here. Wonderful. Wonderful. Alright, so pretty much guys, I think that will do it for today. I know I, I wanted to actually get a bit more done, but you know what? We we weren't quite as lucky as how much uh, how much time I had at least. So I'll be I'll be definitely fixing up a lot of this in the live stream. In fact, one thing I do want to do in the future is come and build this path up from here all the way to there and put in a lot more of these trees because I'm loving the way these trees are turning out. I just love the way this village has turned out in this whole series so far. So that's always a good time. Always a good thing. But for today, guys, as I say, this will be the end of the video. So thank you so much for watching. I hope you guys have enjoyed it. And I'll see you in the next one. Bye-bye.